Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know, you on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video, and you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? How about the Golden State Warriors? man they done pulled off what some people think may be the impossible man you know clay thompson he was out for two whole years man with a torn acl with some other injuries and it took those guys three years to get back into the title contention again and guess what you know what they did they got back in that title contention and man last night they pulled it off they pulled it off they won the series four to two y'all came back came back you remember game one boston led the series it was one and oh boston had beat them guys 120 to 108 stole home court advantage from golden state it was crazy then in game two, you know what happened. The series got tied up one and one. The Bulls Celtics, they failed to defeat to the Golden State Warriors 107 to 88. And so game three, it was a nail biter because everybody was wondering who was going to take the lead after they done got tied up. So in game three, guess what happened? Boston, they came back out buzzing again. <laughs> or, or whatever you want to call I, I would say um, beasting. <laughs> they won 116 to 100. Man. And then in game four, guess what happened? Your boys, Golden State, that came back, tied the series up two to two. Didn't nobody know what was going on with all that, you know? And it was 107 to 97. And in game five, you already know what happened. Golden State, they came back 3-2 lead. And it was 104-94. to And you know how it go with Golden State. Once they get a lead like that, 3-2 lead, you can about count it done. And that's what I told a lot of people. If Golden State come back and they get a 3-2 lead, it was a wrap. And sure enough, <laughs> Game six, Golden State Warriors won 103 to 90. And, you know, the crazy thing about all that, though, is, is that the Warriors held off the Celtics for a fourth title in the last eight seasons. Wow. Wow. But on to some other stuff I got to kick to y'all. <laughs> Look, you know, um, a while back, uh, probably two or three games back, a uh, Celtics fan restaurant owner, I guess, put on their menu that Aisha Curry can't cook. <laughs> and the next game, Steph Curry won. He had that shirt on that said, Aisha Curry can cook. Because <laughs> you know they won that game, right? So after winning the championship, guess what Aisha Curry posted? She said, on the menu tonight, <laughs> SF Hot Pot with the side of Curry Goat. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I tell you what, you gotta love Steph Curry wife, man, for real. You gotta love her, man. You know, cause she look, she stand behind her man. <laughs> and look, Steph Curry did his thing, you know. It was just a fifth defeat in 22 title series appearances for Boston, which turned his season around to have a chance at the crown. You know, black coach, everything. It was it was like a, a Cinderella story almost. But like I told a lot of people, man, Jason Tatum, he don't have a skill problem. He got a confidence problem. I don't know if he need to see a psychiatrist or a counselor or a hypnotist, but he just got something mentally going on where he loses his confidence in detrimental parts of the game. 
you know, and he scored, what, 14 points in the first half, and shoot, in the fourth quarter, he had, like, zero points with, like, I don't know, five or six minutes remaining. You can't play like that. They needed Jason Tatum to bring in at least 20, 30, 40 points. But like I told everybody, Jalen Brown has always been the leader on that team. Always. He didn't need Kobe Bryant to help mentor him. <laughs> you know, maybe he needed to mentor Jason Tatum. I don't know. But, you know, the media hyped that boy up so high, they gave him that daggone Tim Tebow disease. The word, when you hype somebody up so high, the confidence really ain't meant for that thing. And then when you start talking junk to them, talking down on them, they play the whole video of the boy shooting bricks. Then uh, Jason Tatum posts a picture before the game last night with his son riding his little bicycle. And they like, you don't need to be playing with your son. and You need to be working on your shots. But, and y'all can't down a player like that and think that they're going to perform to a top level, especially when you chewing them up in the media. You know, it's just crazy that they do that, you know. Um, you know, the Celtics center Robert Williams, he said that they just couldn't withstand their runs and messing up, you know, and they played harder and won tonight. That's true. It is very, very true. Now, I will say this much. The referees, man, boy, them referees, they, they ain't really show no love to the Celtics at home. <laughs> but, you know, with Curry and them with making their runs the way they did, you know, um, with Curry, you know, scoring as many points as he did. Steph Curry, he dropped 34 points. And the Warriors put him away. You know what I mean? You can't allow Steph Curry to get 34 points and think you're going to win at all. That's no game. You know, the best thing they could have did was triple, double step to keep him from being relevant, and they couldn't do that. They couldn't do that. They were outplayed. They were out-hustled, you know? So, <sighs> look, Golden State Warriors finish off Boston Celtics for a fourth NBA title in eight years. And Boston Celtics hope, you know, pain of the NBA Finals loss propels them forward. I hope so. You know, I think they have a lot to work off of. This is their first year getting to the finals with this group of guys like that. I think that they can do good next year uh, as long as they don't change up too much. But Jason Tatum, I think they just need to kind of revamp his position and let Jalen Brown get that franchise tag because that boy has earned that tag since he's been there, if you ask me. That's just in my opinion. So, hey, take it like you want to take it. You know, but Clay, he reflected on the three years after that torn ACL. And, and he also talked about how, you know, he was pissed off by people comments and stuff like that. So he was like, you know, this is get back. And, you know, Green, of course, you know, he was kind of, you know, pissed off about him not getting that defensive um, tag of the year. But, uh, you know, honestly, man, you really didn't deserve that this year, I would say. I, I don't know. It's whatever y'all think on that one. But anyway, congratulations to the Golden State Warriors, the 2022 Finals Champion of the NBA. Y'all guys earned it. Y'all deserved it. Y'all put in the grind and in the time. And y'all outweighed all the adversity y'all had. It took y'all three years after all those injuries, after the main splash brother Clay being out. Like I told people, they can't win no championship without Clay. It ain't no splash without the brother. You feel me? So look, these guys got four champions. Steph Curry count one, two, three, four. <laughs> he said, what they gonna say now? What they gonna say now? <laughs> He talking to Stephen A. He talking to all them clowns and all them fake media guys that think they know what they talking about. They probably ain't played a game of basketball in their life. And if they did, they probably sucked at it. But anyway, this full-time champion, I say the best point guard in NBA history of this era, 
Steph Curry, or some people like me like to call him Chef Curry, because the boy always cooking. <laughs> With that being said, that's all I got for you in this video. You already know the routine. When you leave my house, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm on social media everywhere. Definitely go to primetimetalktv.com and cop you some merch. All right, y'all. Peace. Love. Till next time.